Hey guys, Ryan with Rigs of Death Metal. Today we're going to be checking out some new cab IRs from Arachnid Cabinets. Let's hear it. Hey guys, alright, you heard the uh, mixed track playthrough, whatever, um, now we're going to just kind of listen to um, an isolated loop of a section of the song, uh, just to let you hear different cabinet combinations. Uh, the first one you're going to hear is the same cab blend that you heard in the mixed song, uh, but just by itself. Uh, let's uh, hear that real quick. Okay, and that one is from the uh, base cab not base cab, the basic pa uh, cab pack um, in uh, the Dropbox folder it's just Rob's cab um, so kind of a standard size cabinet um, again still not sure what the actual cabs are in other eminence but that is cab number three blended with number ten um, so let's close that one out, mute it This one is a blend of the oversize, two different oversize. Um, I guess it's using a Mesa power amp and a 5150 power amp. Um, not sure what the other abbreviations are, but uh, as you can see here, if you actually buy these packs, you will see which ones I'm talking about. LDEQSP. I know OS is oversized. Other than that, I'm not sure. Um, I do know this combination sounds awesome, so let's hear this one. Uh, by the way, I'm using for my amp tone, it is uh, Bias FX2. Um, it's just a dual rectifier, amp sim, tube screamer up front, and a little bit of a noise gate. It is nothing fancy, and if you've you know watched any of our videos, I, I use this tone all the time. Some kind of an overdrive in front of some kind of dual rectifier. Uh, very very familiar sound for a lot of us so let's close that one out we'll do this one next this is a blend of two different Gary Holt uh, signature cabinet IRs again Mesa and 5150 power amp and it sounds like this <laughs> Uh, 
definitely bright. Um, I know the Gary Holt cab pack or the Gary Holt signature cabinet itself has Celestion V30s. So definitely a lot brighter in uh, that upper mid range, way more mid forward uh, than the other ones that we've listened to so far. I'm not sure what's in the oversized cab either. Um, I, I know Rob's an eminence guy and I believe before getting, uh, Gary and Sammy Duay on board his artist roster, uh, Rob was pretty much exclusive, uh, eminence. Um, I think worked out a special deal with Celestian just to accommodate, uh, those guys. Um, let me see here. All right. Uh, this next one is, uh, it's one from the oversized pack blended with one from the Gary Holt pack. Um, it's a JCM, uh, power amp through the oversized and a 5150 through the Gary Holt SIG. And it sounds like this. <laughs> So still mid forward, you can definitely hear the Gary Holt cab poking through a lot in the mids. Um, I think the oversize maybe helps emphasize those low mids or the, just the low end in general, maybe a little bit more than the straight Holt blend. Um, the last one is a blend from the uh, standard cab. It's a uh, cab number 10. It's one of my favorites from the first pack and kind of a weird one. It's the power amp of an AC 30, uh, running through the Gary Holt, uh, cabinet. So kind of an odd blend there, but it, I thought it sounded great. And here's this one. <laughs> Definitely a very cutting kind of tone. Definitely sits in the mid range. Um, I feel like that would just poke out of a mix a lot, a lot better than uh, some other combinations. But yeah, um, clearly you can. And oh, I did use um, with every pack. You do get processed, like some some studio kind of EQ magic, whatever, or just a very raw uh you know unprocessed kind of thing and for the purpose of this i i just did all processed um the raw would be kind of kind of neat if you're just really wanting to uh tweak and tailor the tone to your specific mix um i i, I think the process worked just fine i i think with all these different combinations you're guaranteed to find something that you can work with that will fit into your mix just fine.